what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The White House and Congress agreed to a $2.2 trillion stimulus package to bail out the American economy from its free fall as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. It was expected. They agreed eagerly to pay up. What I want to know, family, is how in the hell did they come up with so much money so quickly when they have repeatedly stalled attempts to broach the topic of reparations for descendants of slaves? Forget the legislation for a minute to offer financial payouts to descendants of slaves in America. These clowns can't even agree to legislation to form a committee to study what reparations would even look like. This lets you know, family, this is proof positive. This stimulus package is proof positive that they could pay reparations if they wanted to. The bottom line is that they don't want to. They're trying to get something for nothing. They feel justified in what America did to black people. America is cool with everybody else receiving reparations. They're cool with the Jews receiving reparations for what they went through, the Japanese receiving reparations for what they went through, the Native Americans receiving reparations for what they went through. Hell, even recently, they paid reparations to Afghanistan and Iraq. You telling me they can't pay reparations to the people who built this country? If not us, then who? We deserve just as much, if not more prosperity than anybody in this country. We built it. Make no mistake. Everything else came later. All of the other building and all that stuff came later. It was black people who made America rich. America got rich and became powerful off the backs of slaves. Black slaves. This country owe black people reparations and it's not going away. Now, I know some of y'all out there are thinking, well, that's never going to happen. I'll be damned. You know, they said slaves would never be free. They said, you know, slaves would never be emancipated. That would never happen. That was some, see, like right now, it's some Negro, K-N-E-E. -E. Is some Negro right now watching me right now fuming because that Negro is a Sambo and they're saying to themselves, or they're probably screaming to the screen right now, he don't know what he's talking about. Them people ain't gonna never pay us no reparations. I don't need no reparations. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work. I work for what I want. Them people ain't gonna. Gee, that was wrong. We always looking for something free. That was some Negroes back in slavery who had the same type of attitude. You know, man, you better, st you better stop all that. You know, they, the people ain't going to never let us free. We slaves and we's going to be slaves all of our lives. Now you, now you, you get on up out of here with that up north talk. You're going to get us killed. There have always been black people who have been used as tools for white supremacy. Sometimes knowingly, 
and other times unknowingly. They've always been around. It's a lot of them right now waving the flag of no reparations. Well, I don't need reparations, you know, this is a great country. You know, we have opportunity and all, it has, all you have to do is go out there and get what's yours. Why is it, if reparations are not important, why do America allow people to sue when they've been wronged? Why do America allow citizens to sue for damages? To, to sue for property damages, punitive damages, loss of wages, every single day. Billions of dollars are paid out every year. Thousands of judgments are granted every single year for people who have sued others, who have wronged them. That's a form of reparations, civil suits. You sue in America. What do you do? You sue and you make them pay. Even if on a criminal side, a person can get away, OJ, you can sue them civilly if you feel like you've been damaged, you have been wronged. America understands reparations. Americans understand reparations. It's just that some of them or many of them only want reparations when they've been wronged. None of the reports announcing the deal on CNN in the Washington Post, the New York Times, or the AP has stated where the money is going to come from. And guess what, family? Nobody cares. They just want the money. But when it comes to reparations, where the money gonna come from? We ain't got that kind of money. We owe China trillions. Where the money gonna come from? I don't give a damn where the money comes from. For all I care, they can get it out their mama's asses. No more talk. What the talking about?